Hey guys, it's Tony here at Game Freak Blog again, just bringing you another video. And today, what I'm bringing for you is the Sega Ages version of Virtua Fighter 2, which was released on the uh, PlayStation 2. Uh, the arcade Virtua Fighter 2 came out in November '94. Uh, it's on the Saturn version in December '95, which was a fantastic version for the the Sega Saturn. I, it was the very first, pretty much one of the very first home console video games to run in a high resolution mode. It really did look spectacular. But there were a few issues with it, kind of. Like with the backgrounds the Saturn wasn't all that good at 3d processing it gave a really good kind of like impression of having like the 3d background backgrounds but it wasn't exactly arcade perfect as lots of people kind of said at the time it was as pretty as close as damn it as you can get but it took until uh 2004 when it got released on the PlayStation uh, 2 as a part of the Sega Ages compilation which is the game that we're looking at now uh, it was uh, the, the Virtua Fighter arcade game, yeah, Virtua Fighter 2, it saw a 2.1 uh, release in the arcades in Japan which had slightly enhanced graphics, uh, you could play as Dural as well and uh, they sorted out a few of the moves, they, they, they tweaked a few of the uh, moves in the game and this is what the PlayStation 2 version uh, port is based on, it's the 2.1 um, arcade board. It's a fantastic Model 2 conversion. It, it just seems funny that it's only in this day and age that we're actually getting uh, arcade perfect Model 2 games. Uh, what was Daytona just being released on uh, Xbox Live and whatever. So we're just going to jump straight in now. I'm just going to play a couple of bouts just so you can see the actual graphical differences. Because if, you, if you've played the Saturn version and you loved it, uh, you might be surprised to see some of the uh, graphical tweaks that were included in this game. So we're just going to jump straight in. Uh, I'm going to be everybody's favourite ninja, uh, Cage, the Mahjong playing ninja. Um, and basically, I'm, like I said, I'm just going to play, I'm a bit Virtua Fighter rusty in this game. Um, people always seem to kind of like have their favourite fighting games. I was a very, very big uh, fan of um, Virtua Fighter when it came out on the Saturn. I absolutely loved it. But, um, you know, lots of people were kind of like, oh, Tekken, I'm more into Tekken, I'm more into Virtua Fighter. And... Uh, they're both absolutely fantastic games. Tekken's really good because it's kind of like the, a bit more flashy, but for kind of like purists, if you like, not meaning to start a big debate, lots of people kind of like the, the kind of more realistic style of Virtua Fighter. I pretty much can play both games, really. I love absolutely both of them, but uh, I must say Virtua Fighter's got a nice warm place in my heart. I do actually uh, love the game. Virtua Fighter 3 on the Dreamcast. I put so many hours into that. But well, as you can see already, compared to the Saturn version, um, that the backgrounds are in true 3D. On the on the Saturn, I believe they were just kind of like um, um, still kind of like pictures in the background. The only thing that was really 3D was the arena that you were kind of like fighting on. And uh, I'd obviously go without saying that if you're a Virtua Fighter fan and you do have a, a Japanese console, this is what I'm uh, playing this on at the moment. Um, you know, you should really track it down if you don't own it already because it's an absolutely amazing conversion. Oh, piss off, Sierra. I just love all the like the effects, like the lightning and whatever uh, on this game. And the, the, I think it's the next level after this where we fight Shun. Um, and he's absolute, the, 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 the bridge on his level, it was something that was really, really missing from the uh, Saturn version. I don't think, I just don't think they could process. Um, process it there's just so much going on come on I tell you the fucking PS uh, joystick uh, joypad sorry for playing this is terrible oh, come on I bet she gets off a spawny hit no nah, there you go great game I've, I, I keep trying to pull off um, Virtua Fighter 3 moves in this game such as like Cage's big uh, Cage's big like aerial attack where he flies up and gives them a big isna drop, but I just have to keep uh, remembering that they're not actually in this game. Let's get him for a throw. Yep, and a boot to the head. So I've got uh, the other Sega Ages game. If you missed my Sega Ages videos, if you go back down to my channel about five or six videos ago, you'll see that I did a uh, playthrough of the Sega Ages Golden Axe. And uh, I've dug Fighting Vipers out as well, because Fighting Vipers also had a fantastic PlayStation 2 conversion. So I'm going to, uh, I'll upload that as well. But as you can see straight away here, the, 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 the bridge, even though it's just a cosmetic kind of inclusion, it really does add to the level. Nice little shun getting out of that throw there. Come on. Oh, that was lucky. 
But um, yeah, ju just just for the scenery, the kind of like bridges that you're going under and everything, it's absolutely fantastic. I can remember playing this um, after you know years and years of getting gameplay out of the Sega Saturn version and just being amazed by it. I can't even actually remember it, those in the um, in the arcade, the bridges, but they were there. No, you don't. Come on. So I think uh, uh, as well, I'm going to do a um, a Virtua Fighter. 3 uh, video and a Virtua Fighter 4 one so I do love the Virtua Fighter games now I've got the Japanese Playstation uh, wired up and uh, plugged into my PVR I may as well record some footage piss off pie I also got uh, dug out uh, Gradius 5 the Konami game Gradius 5 so I'm going to upload a gameplay of that as well but uh, anyway we're talking about Virtua Fighter here so just, a, I mean, just basically a quick, quick, quick question. I mean, I'm, I'm not kind of like holding any kind of like debate on this, or you know, I'm not going to get to the UN with the motion or whatever. But um, just with the whole kind of like 3D um, fighting game, um, you know, there was the, obviously the big rivalry at the time between Tekken and Street Fighter when they were kind of like coming out on their respective uh, consoles. And um, so, which one did you prefer? Were you a, a, a Virtua Fighter boy? Were you a Tekken boy? As I said, I, c I can sit down and play them both. I, I, I do like playing. I love playing Virtua Fighter, but all of my friends are pretty much Tekken uh, fanboys. Out of the two games, it was so hard for me to try and get someone to play Virtua Fighter because it just wasn't immediate. You know, Tekken has a kind of uh, immediacy. Oh, you bitch. Tekken has a kind of immediacy to it, and anyone can really pick it up and pull off, you know, flashy looking moves, whereas with Virtua Fighter, you know, to pull off something like Akira's Stump Arm of Doom or whatever, it's, it, it, it takes practice, you really do need to practice. As I said, to be honest, if I'm going to sit down and have a, have a game on my own, I'll sit and play uh, Virtua Fighter. I love the game, I just love the uh, technical appeal to it. If you see someone playing uh, really, really well on Virtua Fighter, you know that they're a, they're a master of it, really. Whereas with Tekken, I feel that sometimes people, especially with characters such as like Eddie Gorda and whatever, you can just flap through it. So which, which one was your favourite? Did you prefer Tekken? Did you like Street Fighter? You know, just uh, let, drop me a, a comment in the section. Let's get a bit of a conversation going, maybe a bit of an argument, but you know, if you do decide to uh, argue about it and say that I'm wrong and Tekken is the best, just keep it clean. So guys, Tony here from Game Free Blog signing out. Thanks for tuning into the video. Uh, I'm going to upload the second part of this Sega Ages playthrough tomorrow, which will be the Fighting Vipers conversion. So uh, look forward to that. It's, uh, it's a cracking game, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Catch you guys later.